All right, y'all, it's a use what's left in the fridge kind of day, kind of meal. So last two pieces of my favorite bread here. I love this stuff. We got a couple pieces of this jalapeno Havarti cheese, a chunk of pineapple, last two slices of bologna. We got these homemade onion rings that I got to use up that were in the freezer. Sour cream's about to turn. I got the last bit of a bag of the best Doritos ever, the Bold Barbecue, really the best flavor. So. Just a little side snack beside a sandwich and some bacon here. We got four strips of bacon. You guys know I'm coming in with some leftover black and ranch from my other video. And I got this sweet chili sauce. So you might see where I'm going with this. Kind of a Hawaiian inspired sandwich, if you will. But uh, I think it's going to be, but I think it's going to be very delicious. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and make this. First things first, air fryer bacon is the best bacon. We all know this. Four strips in, put it in at, you know, 380, 400 for nine to 10 minutes. Got yourself amazing bacon. A little shallow bit of oil for these O-rings I got to fry up here. We're gonna just get these cooking in that real quick. Yeah, a couple rings going in. Nice and fresh. Perfect ring, Tell me that's not a good looking ring. There's the other ring. What did I tell ya? There's your perfect bacon. Nine minutes later, bubbling and sizzling. So these bread slices are going in for an oil brushed pan crisping. Hardcore guy driving a truck outside my house, as you can tell. All right, a little toasty toast for these guys, a golden balance. Let's check how these are doing. That right there looks pretty perfect to me. Maybe a little longer, a couple flips, but she seems nice. Now in that residual heat, we're gonna brown off a couple cheeky pieces of pineapple. as well as a couple bolognese. Hit them with the fish spatula first. Nice little golden Maillard color there. Perfect. Bologna clip. Crispy edges, baby. It's time to build this sucker. Bologna down hot. While she's still hot. <laughs> Those look hilarious, like a bologna sombrero. So while we have the residual heat from the bologna with room temperature cheese, this should just get a very light melt happening with the warm pineapple sandwiching the bologna, sandwiching the cheese is what I meant with the bologna. It's a bologna pineapple hug. To that we add our perfect strips of bacon this way and we finish with our perfect delicious homemade onion rings but that's not all there's more we must sauce with the blackened ranch from Popeyes nice drizzles evenly spread and then a couple globs of that sweet chili heat as well who doesn't like watching a nice gelatinous sauce drip all over food am I the only one guilty of that okay top it Amp it, move it back a bit. Lay your claim on the sandwich. Diagonal cross section. Clean cut and we reveal whatever this sandwich is. Whatever that's called, I don't know. The Hawaiian bologna bacon pineapple griller. <laughs> 
Okay, that's what we're calling it. You gotta have a little side of chips with your sandwich. And chips ain't shit unless you got a little bit of sauce for them too. So. Welcome to uh, my crazy sandwich adventures with shit I had in the fridge part one of the series, I think this is. I don't know if it's going to be a series, probably, probably not. Like I've said, just things I had in the fridge and had to use up. And uh, I don't know what this is. I've never had something like this before in my life. This is a, uh, a entirely brand new adventure. But something tells me <laughs> with the ingredients that are in there, it's going to slap very, very hard. <laughs> so we'll try it. A little crunchy Hawaiian adventure. I need to get further. That bite didn't reveal everything that it could have. This one will, though. Oh my god. <laughs> That's incredible. wild every bite's been different though i can't really seem to get a a consistent flavor that bite was different too the pineapple very evident Then the bologna is the next most prominent flavor. Then the bacon. Then the sauces. Onion rings get a little bit lost. But they're there. And yes. Those are homemade onion rings made with red onion. Panko crumb. And I blitzed off uh, multi-grain wheat thins to put in the, in the, uh, the crumb for dredging them. And I can say homemade onion rings are where it's at. Got the hockey jock look today. Very rarely a backwards hat guy. See, that bite was very bacony. With that being said, pull it pop break. <laughs> oh, it's the freshest, coldest Mountain Dew today. A fresh, nice, crispy Mountain Dew. Different on a summer day. All right, the best. All right, arguably the best Dorito in the Dorito lineup. The Bull Barbecue. I would, however, argue that if they brought back the, I think they were called Tangy Pickle or something like that, the Dill Pickle Doritos, 
Those were amazing. And I don't know why they stopped sell, sell, or making them. Don't make sense. I will also say that the ketchup Doritos are also very, very good. And what I'll also, also say about Doritos is that this is a company that knows how much seasoning to put on their chips. They don't shy away. They always season the shit out of the chips. And I like that. More companies need to get with Doritos program and give us more seasoning, okay? I don't want to have a bag of all dressed or ketchup or whatever. <clears throat> Even barbecue. And have the chip be like half plain tasting with like a light dash of the flavor that I pay for. Do you know what I'm saying? Ruffles all dressed is one of the worst offenders for that. Pringles, the worst offender. They literally just micro sprinkle the flavor on their chips. If I wanted an original Pringle, I'd just buy the original, you know? <clears throat> 